What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games or Late Novak. In today's video we got Zor's location and inventory rolling intro. Let's get around to it. I do hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, so getting straight into the video, Zor is chilling at the tower in the tower hangar. Let us go see, does the technical bastard have anything good this week, fingers crossed. Alrighty, Zor, this week we're not actually in too bad of an actual, you know, blunder. Let's start things off with something pretty freaking cool, the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock, 23 legendary shards for this pretty freaking OP exotic. Main perk being called Crystalline Transistor. Precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the element of your equipped subclass. Whether it be flavor of void, solar or arc, this thing in itself is seriously beastly. Secondary perks and we've got ourselves unflinching auto rifle aim, unflinching handgun aim and unflinching kinetic aim as well as number two we've also got ourselves sidearm reserves and submachine gun reserves. Pretty nice, pretty decent. Pick this thing up, 23 legendary shards if you've not got it for your warlock. Next up and moving on though, we got ourselves the one-eyed mask for the titan. 23 legendary shards. This thing in itself, yeah, it's, it's crazy beastly and crucible. Not so much in PvE, but more so in crucible definitely. Main perk on it is actually being called vengeance. Marks the enemies that dares to damage you. Tracks down and destroy your enemy for increased damage and overshield. This thing in Crucible is fucking beastly, so yeah, pick it up if you have not got it. Secondary perks on it, we've got ourselves bow targeting, hand cannon targeting, and as well as remote connection, but as well as but not limited to, we've also got ourselves fusion rifle reserves and sniper rifle reserves. This thing in itself is freaking beastly. Pick it up if you have not got it for your Titan 23 legendary shards. Moving on next up, we've also got ourselves something for the Huntress. The Stompies. The Stomp EE5. 23 legendary shards for this Hunter or Huntress exotic. Seriously fun, seriously cool, and dare I say, very OP. Main perk on it is actually called Hydraulic Boosters. Increased sprint speed and slide distance, improves high jump, strafe jump, and triple jump. This thing itself is pretty freaking cool for a hunter exotic. Pick it up if you have not got it, the secondary perks, we've got ourselves auto rifle dexterity, fusion rifle dexterity, and perpetuation, as well as but not with two, we've also got ourselves a scout rifle scavenger and a sidearm scavenger. Pretty nice, pretty decent, once again 23 legendary shards for your hunter or huntress, pick it up because it's fun, it's, it's just really fun. Next up though, and finally, finishing things off with the exotic gear, we've got the Vigilance Wing. 29 legendary shards for this D1 Pulse Rifle bought into D2 that actually is still pretty beastly. Main perk on it is actually called Harsh Truths. This weapon fires a 5 round burst when a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. As well as his secondary trait being Last Stand, improved weapon and performance and greatly increase recovery when a wielder is the last living member of a fire team. This thing is beastly, this thing is fun, pick it up if you've not got a 29 legendary shards, moving on though. Next up we've also got us off the consumables, the five of swords. Now what does this later do? Well it allows you to tailor your made your nightfalls to make them the way you want to actually do it. Want it more challenging, want it less challenging, want it with different modifiers and different flavors? You can go ahead and do that. It allows you to make your challenging nightfalls more challenging by adding challenging challenges to the already challenging nightfall to make it even more challenging. You get better scores, better loot and better all around stuff. Next up though, and finally finishing things off, we've got ourselves the Isochronal Engram, also called the Faked Engram, or aka Fated Engram. 97 legendary shards. I'm running out of breath and I can't fucking breathe. God. Faded Engram, 97 legendary shards. This is going to decrypt into an exotic you don't actually have unless you have all the exotics from the collection, then you're actually going to get a duplicate. That duplicate in itself can actually have better perks than it. Let's have a look. We actually get 97 legendary shards being wasted right now. We get ourselves Ace Wings of Sacred Dawn. I've seen so many people use this as of recently. I guess it's pretty cool. Wings of Sacred Dawn, definitely a different exotic, but... You know, it's one of the perks that a warlock had at one point where Dawnblade is equipped aiming weapon while your midair suspends you, stay there, fire weapon, all that stuff, stay up. It's cool. It's pretty basically, and it's also got special ammo finder and unflinching kinetic aim. I might actually keep this. Pretty decent. Pretty cool. 
that has pretty much been Zord's location in Patrol for the weekend. It's been Zach in the back. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Do all that good stuff. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know. Did you actually get anything good from Zor? Was it something you wanted? Did you actually get something cool from the Faded Engram? Share this video around because it seriously helps our channel. It helps out you guys. and helps out other people to actually see the content of where Zor actually is. But anyway, this has been Zach in the back. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Do all the good stuff. I'll be Sharon like Garen ever. He was Ed Sharon. But until next time. This is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.